Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Goddess Lily. Well, this is a video that has been requested by some women in my photography group. And I am going to take you around my room and show you how I set up my video and camera lighting for very small spaces. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to give you a panoramic view of my room. Just so you can see how small it is. <laughs> so this is my photography studio that you're looking at. My TV on the wall, my nail rack. And I'm going to take you to this side. I have a window there in the corner. This is my desk. And over in the corner, I have my bookcase. which also serves as my holder for my wigs. I am a wig maker. And right there is my little meditation area. I'll zoom in so you can see that. And down below is my ottoman where I sit in full lotus and I do my meditations. This is a closet and it has mirror closet doors. So, on that side of the room, this is my office, bookcase. This is my file cabinet, which serves as my photography studio, my umbrellas. Over in the corner there is my um, jury armoire and my jury earring holder on the top. And right here is my vanity table, my makeup, and then that's the door leading out. So this just gives you an idea of how, how small my room is. So right there is another light and a tripod. I don't have an umbrella on that one. That one is basically just brightening up the room. So let's get started and talk about the photography area. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is backgrounds. Backgrounds is pretty important in the role of photography, only because what your background reflects, you know, can change or break your photos. And as a wig maker, for me, my photos make my business. My photos are out there on the internet and on the web for all to see, and it's what drives in my business. So photography is really important for me and my business. So what you see here is an infinity board. I love this background and I basically use this for photographing makeup. I'm a beauty blogger and I like to photograph my makeup and this is basically what I use that for. And um, the infinity board I got from BH Photo online and it has these little um, where you can basically let it out and you can lay it flat down on a table but I'm not going to do that so you can basically stretch it out to where it'll lay flat if you want to you know take photos flat it it's good for that so what else I use that I really love is called the my studio this is made out of very sturdy fiberglass it's really huge they have two sizes and this is the smallest of the sizes and I also ordered this from BH Photo and it comes in a super huge box so just be <laughs> wary of that when you order it. it's going to be sitting on your front porch and um, so I like to use this outdoors and um, I use this background when I need to photograph tall items because I can sit it down like this and it gives me a big you know flat wall and of course you have to sit it up against something so when I want to use this I have to totally clear out everything and set this against the wall but I love these backgrounds so next we're going to talk about lighting okay for photography I basically shoot with two types of bulbs and these are the two bulbs that I use this right here is a 500 watt light bulb and this one is a 250 watt light bulb <clears throat> so depending on what you're shooting 
and your subject, you'll know whether you want to use two 500 watts, which will put out 1000 watts if you use both a 500 in each tripod, or if you want to use two of these 250 watt light bulbs. So right now, as you can see, I have a 250 watt light bulb and this is my normal shooting. I normally shoot with 500 um, watts of light. Now, it just depends on the day or the time that I'm shooting the night. Sometimes at night, I need more light, so I will switch out those and I will use these um, 500 watts. These put off so much light that they really will distort the picture. Then you really have to learn how to work with your camera. I shoot with a Canon EOS T3i. And the setting that I most use all the time is the AV setting. So you know that you have all these little settings on the wheel there. I mostly shoot on the AV setting and <clears throat> I shoot on um, so well when you have your camera you can let's see if I can take this off you can change your white balance. So when I click on that, I normally shoot on Tunskin Light. So that's the setting that I normally shoot on. Tunskin, so that you get there by clicking on this little key that says um, WB. So then you just press set. So that's the setting that I normally shoot on and I normally have it on the AV. So under that setting and 250 watt light bulbs, I get a almost perfect white background and very seldom do I have to go into Photoshop and white the background, you know, just uh, do the, um, the bright, the brightness. Very seldom do I have to do that. But at night then it's kind of iffy, but I don't never take photos at night. I just love that setting. I love taking photos during the day. So um, these are incandescent daylight light bulbs. These are the white daylight bulbs and they put off not a lot of light. They are not really good for taking photography pho for photos, but they are excellent for videos. Now, if you're recording a video and you change out your sockets to put these in, you're going to pretty much have to put your umbrellas right up to your face, but your videos will be flawless. I mean, they will pick up all the beautiful colors in your makeup if you have pretty eyeshadows on and you're a you're doing a makeup tutorial these lights are just perfect for videos but you have to be pretty up close to the camera to use these lights and um so i don't do makeup tutorials but i do have these lights because sometimes i do film close-up videos where i want to show really intric intricate details of my ventilating. Ventilating is what I do as a wig maker, so I like these lights for that. And they work well with my video camera. My video camera is a Canon Vixia. It's probably about three years old. I do have my eyes on a, another one, which is a higher grade, and um, fingers crossed that I get that for Christmas if my husband's nice or if I'm nice <laughs> but anyway so the last thing that I want to talk about is the shields as you notice that I don't have these shields on my lights because you don't need these shields you can either have you can either use umbrellas or the shields or you can use both I found out for my indoor photography for what I do I don't need both these umbrellas work perfect for me and I think these shields are more for high definition studio shooting like if I were a professional photographer and I'm doing a wedding and indoor photos these shields will work perfect for that because these shields stream light the light they're extremely huge but you can get a smaller size one 
I actually have one that's half the size on my tripod that is behind me that is lighting up the room. So I want to talk about, I was going to say this was the last thing, but the very last thing I want to talk about is the umbrellas. The umbrellas that you see here are 25 inches. Turn around. So it's not a huge umbrella. And when you order your lighting system, your lighting system is going to come with two tripods or three tripods, two umbrellas or three umbrellas, but they're going to be the really large umbrellas, like 35 or 40 inches wide. This is 25 inches. This does not come in the set. You have to order this separately. I got my umbrellas from BH, Cos BH Photo. I got um, three umbrellas, and I'm actually going to take this umbrella off this tripod behind me just so you can see how it looks okay so this is the umbrella so as you can see when i took the umbrella off the light the lighting totally changes on my video it's like a becomes like a hard light and that is a 500 watt light bulb so this is the umbrella it's very small if I go like this and um, the umbrella that comes in the kit is really huge just like the size that you would use to shield yourself from the rain so you have to order these separate but these are perfect for small spaces and indoor lighting okay so that's it for my studio if you have any questions be sure and comment below I'll be sure and get to them when I have time and um, hit me up with a video of your indoor lighting studio i'd love to see what you have and just get ideas from other folks that have a huge hobby for photography like i do okay thank you for watching and have a nice day